If I close my eyes, I can remember a giant green shell on a knee with a white bunny on top blowing soap bubbles with one hand and holding a pink spindle in the other. Whoa, back up, Ronnie. Before you go and tell them the whole giant cell story, why don't we explain how we stumbled upon picture mnemonics in the first place? Adil and I are third-year medical students at the University of Arizona College of Medicine, and a little over a year ago, we were studying for step one. Step one was the most miserable experience of my life and just as horrible for all my med school friends. There are these crazy unrealistic expectations to memorize thousands of bugs, drugs, and diseases. Nothing was more frustrating than repeatedly memorizing all the little details of the immune deficiencies or vasculitides and then forgetting them a week later. Trust me, I know. I did two question banks, attempted to memorize first aid front to back, listened to Golian's lectures over and over, and spent months studying. I felt like so much of my time was wasted repeating the same difficult information. We were brainstorming ways to remember the information better, and that's when we figured it out. Picture mnemonics, or as we called it, PICMONIC. We were creating silly mnemonics and combining them with crazy pictures and ridiculous stories. And surprisingly, we were remembering the medical info better than ever before. And obviously, being nerdy med students and fascinated by how the brain works, we turned to research and found that words attached to visual representations are better remembered than text alone. And this is fact. We showed them to our classmates and they loved them. We showed them to our professors who were equally impressed. And Picmonic was born. Picmonic is an interactive, web-based learning system that delivers unforgettable audiovisual mnemonics with high-yield, must-know information for step one. Now, let's bring it back to the white bunny on the shell. This is actually a giant cell tumor represented by the giant shell. It is a benign tumor, hence the benign bunny. The bunny is blowing soap bubbles because soap bubbles are often seen on x-ray, and the tumor has a classic spindle-shaped appearance, shown by the pink spindle. The tumor commonly occurs in the knee region, which is seen here by the knee propping up the shell. This is just a quick sneak peek, but I bet you'll remember it later. It's simple. In less time, you'll learn more, remember it longer, and do better when it counts. We want to share Picmonic with you and your friends today. Sign up for a free trial online at picmonic.com or visit us on Facebook. Help us spread the word, get in touch with us, and we'll hook you up.